Welcome to our demo video of how to cast your baby's hands and feet. The first step is to make your alternate mixture to cast your baby's hands and feet. So you measure out your water, which is typically 300 millilitres, and then prepare your casting bag over a drinking glass like so. This is to make it easy to pour the alginate mixture into the bag. Now measure out your alginate powder. You can choose between 100 grams and 150 grams depending on the size of your baby and how many casts you'd like to get out of the kit. Each bag has 300 grams of alginate in. Now take a large mixing bowl and mix the alginate powder with your measured water. You need to work quite quickly at this stage, so mix quite quickly, ensuring that all the powder is mixed thoroughly with the water. It should be turning pink at this stage. Don't worry too much about any lumps. The most important thing is to work quickly and to move to the next stage. Now take your prepared bag over the glass and pour in the mixture. It should be a pouring consistency but not too runny. Once all your mixture is in the bag, remove the bag from the glass, like so, and move to the baby. Now we need to lower the baby's handle foot into the bag and secure tightly around the wrist or ankle. Using the other hand you want to manipulate the materials to ensure that the toes or fingers are completely covered and that you never see any toes or fingers poking through the mixture. This is why we take the cast in a clear plastic bag to enable you to see clearly. Luckily in this video the baby is staying quite still but if your baby is wriggling and moving around you can move quite easily with the bag keeping it secured around the wrist or ankle. Keep an eye on the mixture at all times just to make sure that no toes or fingers poke through. This is filmed in real time so this is exactly how long you should have to take your baby's hand or foot mould. Already it's starting to firm up. It should become quite firm to the touch, so if you squeeze it, there's not a lot of give. And once firm and it's turned back white, rub your finger around the baby's ankle to release it, and then it should just slip off like a rubber slipper. Now you've got your finished mould, you need to mix up your casting stone. So you mix two parts plaster with one part water. So pour the put the powder in and then add the water on top and then slowly mix the mixture together. Be quite patient at this stage, you don't want to introduce any air bubbles if possible. Once all mixed together you can use a paintbrush to paint inside the mould if you wish to get through to any little toes. You can miss this part out if you wish but it just helps ensure that you get a good cast at the end. Now take a teaspoon and spoon in the mixture into your casting mould. and then give it a good tap on the surface to release any air bubbles and then put some more mixture in you can pour the casting stone in if you prefer not to spoon it in it's a little bit quicker
and then when full simply tap the mould quite firmly on the side to release any air bubbles and then once finished leave that to set for 24 hours and then you can mount and finish it in any of these ways. Thank you for watching and you can buy our casting kits or box frames from our website www.thekeepsakeco.co.uk